Our next week 2 matchup will be another installment of the great rivalry between the Bears and the Packers. This year it's Brett Favre, as you can see warming up, versus Casey Beckwith, the number one overall pick, his first time in this rivalry. And on the very first play, Favre would complete that pass to a wide open Bill, Sh Bill Schroeder. He could go all the way, 87 yards, very first play, Packers take a 7-0 lead. So after the Bears go 3 and out, Brett Favre throws it right to the safety, Chris Hudson. Horrible throw by Favre, I don't know what he was doing right there, but Curtis Enos gets the ball, he powers his way all the way down to the 8 yard line, and on the ensuing play, first and goal, Enos dies for the pylon, but he fumbles the ball, and the Packers recover in the end zone, Enos obviously very upset with himself, and here on 2nd and 10, after the first play goes for no gain, whoop! Dorsey Levin jukes out Chris Paris, but that drive will lead to nothing for the Packers. Strapping the Bears has to punt again. Favre completion to Bill Schroeder for the first down right there. Favre struggling early, 2 of 6. But on second and go, hand off to Tracy Lockett, the first round pick from Michigan. He walks into the end zone for the touchdown. The Packers take a 14 and nothing lead. So the Bears are packed, backed up here. Third and 20, start of the second quarter. Javante Harper. Breaks a tackle and he could go all the way. 90 yard touchdown for the rookie out of Oregon State. This is a one possession ball game again. So the Packers at the punt. Bears trying to get something before the end of the half, but back with trying to throw the ball away is intercepted right there. And on the ensuing play, Favre airing it up deep in Antonio Freeman pass interference it doesn't matter he makes the catch for the touchdown Packers take a 21-7 lead into the half so the Bears are driving they got the ball to start the second half and Casey Beckwith goes down fifth round pick Connor Davis takes him down and on second and ten after the Packers at the punt Curtis Nienis breaks the tackle and he could go 54 yard touchdown and one is all a Celebratory dive by Enos. This is once again a one score ball game 21 to 14. So now far play action. He completes that pass to fullback William Henderson. And Henderson is loose in space, gain of 20. Easy 20 yards. And now third down and six later on the drive. Far completion to guess who else? Bill Schroeder. Wide open all day. Six catches, 157 yards, and two touchdowns at the end of the day. And on first and ten now, Far drops back and he gets some easy pass interference on the Bears free agent pick up Terry Phillips. They find him off the street. And Far right here. Next play completion. Wide open. Bill Schroeder. Easy touchdown. The Packers once again take a two possession lead. 28 to 14. So back with has to respond. First and ten. Back with stands in there, completes the pass to Jamal Gordon. For the first down, Gorn's first catch of the day. Then a toss out to Curtis Enos. He gets three blocks. What a block by Marcus Robinson. And Enos takes it in the Packer territory down to the 26 yard line. Enos having a great day on the ground. But on third down and 10, Beckwith looking for pass interference. And Marcus Robinson cannot get it. The Bears have to settle for a field goal. And doing drive for the Packers, trying to put the game away. And Far to guess who else? Bill Schroeder. First down over the middle. Second and two. Play action. Far completion to last year's fifth round pick, Delvin Mays. First down and ten. Now on second and two. Far looking on the post and it's intercepted. He once again threw it right to a safety. Tony Paris. So it's up to Casey Beckwith now to lead a big time game winning drive. On third down and seven though, back with completion to Marcus Robinson. First down before the two minute warning, Bears take a timeout. Now on third and ten, back with his hit and it's incomplete looking for Macy Brooks. He had him open. So fourth down and ten, ball game on the line. Back with him under center and he airmails Marcus Robinson. The Packers get the ball now here and on third and 14 though, they stuff Tracy Lockett. So the Bears are going to have one last chance after the Packers tack on a field goal. First and ten. Beckwith. Complete. Marcus Robinson. First down. 
tick 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 bears have to get it going tick 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 clock is ticking and ticking and ticking and then back with runs play action and he be sacked right there on the play Derek Boswell brings him down now they really have to run hurry up here second and 19 they try and hurry back with drops back completes it up the seam to Marty Booker there's a first down after they spike the ball first and 10 back with Marcus Robinson on the sideline first and 10 Bears can finally regroup but you can see 42 seconds left back with go completes that pass to Macy Brooks first down clock is ticking though after another spike second and 10 back with forced to throw the ball away so now it's third down and 10 here Beckwith drops back he looks end zone and it's knocked away fourth down and 10 the game is on the line 20 seconds left any chance the Bears have comes down to this Macy Brooks makes the catch but he's brought down at the two yard line Packers Bears have to hurry excuse me and Beckwith gets the snap off but it's incomplete so this would basically be the last play in the game Back with for what it's worth, finds Jamal Gordon for the touchdown. The Bears fall by seven to the Green Bay Packers. However, they did put up quite the fight here. Casey Beck with 15 and 35, 217 two yards, two touchdowns, and an interception. And next week, Chicago will be taking on the Achilles Smith left Cincinnati Bengals.